Hello everyone. In this video, you're going to learn how to create your own theme in WordPress. So there are three main ways that you can do this. Option number one is to create a block theme using the default or sort of core blocks that belong to WordPress. This is the easiest way by far, and you don't need to know anything about coding. Uh, so that's option number one. Option number two is to create a classic theme. This is my own personal favorite way to create a theme. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's called classic because until about three years ago, this was the only type of theme that existed in WordPress. I wouldn't worry about that classic terminology or thinking that this type of theme is outdated or old. It's not. In fact, if you polled like the top Fortune 500 companies that, of those companies that use WordPress, I would guess that almost all of them, nearly 100% of them, are probably running or using a classic theme. The point that I'm trying to make here is it's not like a block theme just because it's newer is better and this is like the old inferior way to create a theme. It's more like there's two different use cases. Um, a classic theme creates more of a content management system like a CMS experience where the authors of the website are just entering raw content like articles, pages, posts, but they're not designing anything. A block theme is more like a page builder or a site builder tool where you're expecting the authors of the website to also design the website. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that approach. For certain instances, that's great. Uh, it's just that in certain situations, you don't want the authors of your site designing it. Cool. So it's not like a classic theme is old and outdated and worse than a block theme. It's just a totally different way of viewing what WordPress is. Cool. And then the third and final way to create a theme is sort of a hybrid of both. It's a block theme, but instead of building it out of the core default WordPress blocks, you're building it out of blocks that you are the author of, like you're custom coding the blocks. Now, the good news is that you don't need to make a choice right now. In this YouTube playlist and series, we are going to learn how to create all three of these types of themes. But in this specific video, we're only going to focus on this first option. So if you want to see these other two options, just be sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. Having said all of that, let's jump into the action for this video. Let's go learn how to create our own block theme uh, without having to dig into coding. Now, there are actually two main ways that you can do this. Uh, the first way, you don't need to download any plugins. So I want to show you that first because I don't like to rely on plugins if you don't need to. And then the second option does use a plugin. Okay, so the first option where you don't need a plugin, here's my website that we've been working on in this video series. I'm using the 2025 theme. Uh, but imagine I wanted to sort of create my own new theme based on the 2025 theme. So from my admin dashboard, if I click on appearance, uh, before I show you how to export or download this as a theme, let's make a, a custom change to it just to prove a point that our new version contains that change. So if I click customize, and maybe let's change the template. So under templates, let's find like the individual page template. Yes, yeah, so this one, pages. If I click on that and look at the outline, like imagine in this group, like maybe before the featured image. So let me add before. What if we just wanted a paragraph that said our super custom theme, right? And then maybe give that like a yellow background. You get the idea. So if I save that and go look at the front end of my website, well, you'll see that for any individual page like about us or contact us, but we will not see it on a category archive. Cool. So we've proven the point that we've made that change. Now check this out on the editor screen. When you're editing one of your templates like this in the very top right corner, we see these three dots. If you click on the three dots and scroll all the way down towards the bottom of that menu, we see an export option. It says download your theme with updated templates and styles. So if you click that, It'll try to save a zip file into your downloads folder. Just go ahead and allow that. So here it is on my computer, 2025.zip. Now, before we test this out, let's do something so that we can prove to ourselves that it's working. Go back into your template editor for that page, and I'm going to delete that yellow paragraph block. And then go ahead and click Save. Right. So now the front end of my website does not have that yellow paragraph. And now we can prove to ourselves that our new theme that we exported does indeed contain that. What we need to do now is make sure that we don't have a naming conflict with the existing 2025 theme. So go ahead and extract your zip file. Just double click it or right click on it and choose extract. You can delete the old zip file now. And that's going to create a folder with that matching name. Let's change that folder's name. So rename it instead of 2025, just name it something like my awesome theme. And don't ever have spaces in your file or folder names. Always use a dash. 
like the minus symbol instead of a space. Cool, so my awesome theme. And then go ahead and open this folder up in VS Code. If you don't have VS Code or if you have no idea what that is, it's completely free software that anyone can download. Uh, but in this video series and playlist on YouTube, if you go back and just watch this playlist, you'll see exactly how to get VS Code up and running and how to open a folder with it. Okay, but with that My Awesome Theme folder opened up in VS Code, you'll see folders over here in the Explorer like Assets, Parts, Patterns, Styles, Templates. All we need to do right now is make sure there's not a naming conflict with the old 2025 theme. So go into your style.css file and just change on line number two, instead of theme name, just change 2025 to be like our awesome theme. Technically, you could customize all of these other values as well, but you get the point. It'll work even if you don't do that. So just save that file, Command or Control S, and that's it. So now if you want to, you could place that theme folder um, in your WordPress themes folder, but if you don't know how to do that, that's fine. You don't need to do that. Let me show you another way. We can just re-zip that back up. So if you just right click on that folder and choose compress on Windows, there should be a similar option to like compress or archive it or create a zip file. Uh, so now that I have a zip file named my awesome theme, just in WordPress itself, we don't need to go digging on our computer for a specific location. Just go back into WordPress your main dashboard, and under appearance, uh, where you can choose which theme you want, up here we see a button that says add new theme. Go ahead and click on that. And now we don't want to search for a theme. We want to use this button that says upload a theme. So click on that, and then it's going to let you choose a zip file. So you guessed it, just go choose that zip file that's in your computer's downloads folder. We named it myawesometheme.zip. Click open, click install now. It's done, and then you would need to activate the theme, but if I activate it, and now if I go refresh my Contact Us page, that yellow paragraph is back. In other words, you now have a zip file that is a theme. You can distribute this, you can let your friends or family use it, or if you wanted to spin up another website that's similar, you could use it, you get the idea. You have now created a theme. Now obviously, the sky is the limit in terms of what customizations you want to make. I mean, from here, it's just a matter of using the built-in customize screen, right? And then just changing some of the templates and the styles and all the settings. I mean, you can change the front page, the archive, the individual blog post templates. I mean, just change it to your heart's desire, right? And you can use the outline and all the different patterns and block types and create anything that you could imagine. When you're done, you just use these three dots and click on the export button. Cool, so that was the first way where you don't need to download a plugin, but you might be asking yourself, what if I don't want to base my new theme off an existing theme? What if I want to create like a theme from actual scratch? Like you're still using the default WordPress blocks, but what if you don't want to base it off of 2025, right? What if you want to start with a completely empty canvas? Well, luckily there's a plugin from the official WordPress team that lets you do that. So under plugins, uh, let's go add a new plugin and just search for create block theme. For me, it's actually the second result, not the first result, uh, but you'll know that it's the right one if it's created by wordpress.org, and it's just called create block theme. So go ahead and install that, and then uh, be sure to activate it. So mine just finished, I'll click activate. And for me, it's not super obvious what that added, but if you hover over the appearance menu in the left-hand menu, you'll see this new option called create block theme. Let's go ahead and click on that. Cool, so here's that new plugin that we just installed and activated. So in this left-hand column, it's gonna give you a few different options. The first option is export our awesome theme as a zip file. So that's what we just already learned how to do without a plugin. Aha, uh -huh. but here we see create a new blank theme. You can also use the plugin to create like a clone or a child theme, but let's try this create a new blank theme option. Let's click on that. Theme name, let's call it like super amazing theme and just scroll down and click create and activate blank theme. So it says it's successfully created, the editor will now load, okay. Now I'll admit this screen is not very intuitive for me, like which template am I editing, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna click actually to just go back to my dashboard or actually just this screen and let's click on templates. Aha, let's click on all templates. So currently we only have the one index template. So now it's up to you, like let's create uh, a template for an individual blog post. So click add new template up here in the top right corner. Uh, let's see, single posts, let's click on that. You can choose a pattern, but then let's really customize it. Like what if you didn't even want a header? So you could like go into your outline and get rid of the header. What if you didn't even want the footer? And what if in the group you wanted to start 
like uh, above the query loop. So add before you wanted a paragraph that said super custom template for individual blog posts. You can save that. And now if you go back and actually look at your website, there's the index template, the sort of default template. Uh, but if I click on to one of my individual blog posts, there we see it has no header, has no footer, and we see super custom template. Cool. Now from here, if you wanted to save that theme, well, you would just go into appearance. And then when you're editing one of your templates, uh, remember you can always use the three dots up here in the top right corner to export or download it. Or now that we have that plugin, you could just go to the plugin. So that's under appearance, create block theme. And it's going to let you also have that same option right here, export it as a zip file. That's really it. Now, in terms of creating something that looks beautiful, that's outside the scope of this video. Uh, you have the full power of the WordPress editor at your disposal, and you can create whatever you can put your mind to. So that is going to bring this video to a close. That's how you create a block theme with the core WordPress blocks. But what about in our next video? Where do we go from here? We are going to learn how to create a classic theme. My personal favorite, it keeps a strong separation between style and content. I think that's the way it should be. This will be a really fun experience because you get to use your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP skills. And also, just to let you in on a bit of a secret, it's not like you can't still create your own custom block types when you're using a classic theme. You could absolutely have a classic theme that also activates like, you know, three or five or 10 or 20 of your own custom blocks. It's just that you're not letting those blocks be used uh, in terms of the overall templates for your website. You can use those blocks within the body content of like a post or a page. So just letting you know, I think this is the absolute best way to use WordPress. And I actually think this creates by far the best user experience for someone who's just managing the content of a website, right? But they're not trying to like use a page builder to create the site themselves from scratch, if that makes sense. Anyways, that brings this video to a close. If you're enjoying this series and you want to help support this YouTube channel, the best way is to visit my website, learnwebcode.com. I have a Patreon you can check out. The number one perk is you get your name added to the closing credits of each video. There's also a YouTube membership with similar perks. I have various courses that are available on a lot of different topics. If you're trying to improve your developer skills, they're available on both Udemy and Teachable. Uh, for the last 19 years, I've used DreamHost to host my websites, and I've had great experiences with them. If you use my link to DreamHost, I will receive compensation for sending new users their way. That's an excellent way to help support this YouTube channel. You can join my email newsletter. You can follow me on various social media, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope you feel like you learned something, and stay tuned for the next video. Classic themes are a lot of fun. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon and YouTube memberships. I don't have any producers yet, but your name could go here. But I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Rodney, David, Linas, Demetrius, and Kenneth for being sponsor tier members over on Patreon. Really appreciate that support. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.